Hi, I'm Samantha A. Camp. This is A Girl's Guide to Coffee. Eric Koble, the character is Alex. A Trap. The Seven Ages of Remote Control Man. At first, the infant, it doesn't matter what they put in front of you, purple dinosaurs, talking animals, puffy clouds, as long as it moves, blinks, and makes noise, it's good television, and you have no control over the remote. Then the school kid. It's the battle between your little super ego and your little id. PBS numbers and letters versus Cartoon Network hammer hits and booger jokes. And your parents tend to have the remote. But then as you slide into puberty, you grab the control and it's reality shows, music videos, clothes, sex, music, sex, skincare, sex, slang, sex, 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 and then pop, you're out in the working world and it's news and Wall Street channels at the office by day and by night it's sitcoms and crime dramas where you learn life's lessons in 22 or 44 minutes. Unless it's American Idol where you learn your life lessons by having a bunch of fans who can text. And then some Comedy Central, late night TV to bed. But you put on a few years, you find yourself drawn into your niche, your rut, your lifestyle, your ESPN, your HDTV, C-SPAN, History Channel, Cooking Channel, and suddenly you're old and you find yourself watching the Weather Channel. No, actually watching the Weather Channel as your default. Or just having it on in the background because it's comforting to know that there's weather happening somewhere. And then the last stage of all that ends this viewing history is second childhood where you'll stare at pretty much anything as long as it moves, blinks, and makes noise. And once again, someone else has control of the remote. Don't let this happen to you.